Hey guys, Ryzen here. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Grandia. Well, let's head on back. Yeah, we gotta go east of Gumbo. Only the Sea of Mermaids? Huh. Well, whatever. Let's go back to Gumbo first. Yeah, we'll have to figure things out later. Hmm. Well, mermaids can't be anything too bad, right? We're very much approaching the end of Disc 1 at this point. We're very close to the end. Uh, if your fire for uh, Justin is not as high as mine, don't worry about it. It's As long as you're like level 7, you're fine. Level 7, maybe 8. Uh, I actually just did flat out better than I usually do. Which is good. Just gonna have my leveling goal as 8 on the notes that I put up for you guys. But... I think that'll be good, yeah. So I'm already, like, where I want to be. Because <laughs> I want to actually be level 9 or 10 by the next area, and I'm already there, so. That's good. We'll focus more on Earth, I guess. Depending on what level his Earth is. you never actually seen a mermaid, huh, Gadwin? I might do a little bit of fire, but I don't know. Really, top priority is Fina right now. Hmm. Apparently, they're vicious, huh? Interesting. What's wrong, F uh, Sue? Uh, are you okay? Oh, you know. Just hungry, huh? <laughs> uh, no big deal. We gotta go back to Dite now. <sighs> Sue's uh, gonna be gone pretty soon. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't officially leave. So she's gonna steal anything you, she has on her right now, which sucks. But she'll eventually put it into storage for you. But I do want to basically store everything off of her at this point. Oh, also, I went ahead and equipped her with a uh, the flint bow because I obviously don't care to have that. And uh, the dragon vest, yeah, she's got that equipped. So, you know, I might want to hold on to the fairy robe, but I don't think so. But it's there. And technically, the dragon I have other dragon vests, so that's why I want to hold on to the fairy vest. Put her, uh, put the block charm on her, magic block charm, just because I don't care if it gets stored. Let's take a look at the items she's got. None of this stuff I particularly care about. They can all be kind of stored right now. In fact, I'm basically going to store it all. Um, as far as charms are concerned, at this point, I really don't f plan on doing much with them. I just have so much better, so many better accessories now that it really doesn't matter. Store the bows because it doesn't really matter anymore. Angel darts, we can store that. I'm gonna hold on to. Oh, you know what? We don't need a. Do we have two rain staffs? Because I want to get rid of one. Yeah, store one, obviously. I'm gonna hold on to the oracle staff because it has a. a useful effect. can store one of the holy maces. I like to hold on to a holy mace just because oh, I must have it equipped. Well, I hope I have it equipped. Alright, so let's start storing these magic block charms because I'm never going to use them. Not going to use a forest charm. Not going to use a disease charm. I'll hold on to the f confusion charm. I don't think I'm going to use that, but I'll hold on to it. 
Oh, there's a holy mace. Okay. Mm, hold on to that, just in case. I'm definitely not using the rune ring anymore at this point. Or the jade charm. I have better things than that. Sure, I'll hold on to that. Snake earrings. Yeah, hold on to that. Officer badge could still be useful. Okay, that should be better for now. And move everything off of Sue. There we go. We're going to want to do that. Okay. So now we're going to Dite Village. Uh, somebody here has a first aid kit that they give you. It's somebody in green past the weapon shop, I believe. Not exactly sure. Who it is? I maybe it's this one. Yeah. Okay. I think it's this guy. What? It's not that guy? Huh? This guy maybe? I know it's somebody in green. Is it after the next cutscene? Oh, there you go. It's this guy. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so... Well, let's go have the stupid nonsense happen. Go into Dr. Alma's... No, not Clemic. Sorry, I'm thinking something else. We need to go see the Elder. And the Elder is... Oh, uh, I've actually had the game freeze here, by the way. Uh, because of a pathing error from the party members. So, you may want to save before you go to the Elder's house. Because sometimes your party members will actually get stuck in this cutscene. I don't know why. If I can figure out where the hell the Elder's house is, that would be nice. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, go in. Once you go in, that's basically it for Sue, so. Oh, I should have showed you her stats. Well, I think I showed it to you last time, but whatever. Yeah, it's been a while. And, of course, Sue's down. The Mysterious Vanishing Hill? What's that place? Oh, so we can just teleport to Alent then. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, this is, not gonna lie, really stupid. <laughs> it can only be used once, so how the hell do you know how to use it? And there's Sue. And Sue's tired. So yeah, I've had the game freeze here. Uh, because when you start walking, your party members have like some automatic movement. And for some reason, I've had it not work properly. Like they got stuck on this tree. Literally, they just started walking into the tree. Oh no, Sue's dead. So did she got some sort of illness? Did she did she catch maybe some sort of disease? I mean, did did the bad guys poison her and we didn't notice it? No, she's tired. Okay. This is the dumbest explanation to remove a character from your party member. So you're telling me 
she's able to climb a literal wall. But suddenly, walking through a tower area is too much, and now she's exhausted. I'm sorry, we've had her in the party for 30 plus hours at this point. She should not be suddenly exhausted with no legitimate explanation. This is... This is bad writing. Basically, they couldn't think of a way to get her out of the party. So, they throw this nonsense. Especially since there was literally no foreshadowing whatsoever of this happening. She was perfectly fine until suddenly we got up back up from the boat. Like... They should have, if they were going to go this route, at least throw in some hints that she's tired or getting tired as the journey goes on, but they don't. They just, it's like, oh, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. Oh, suddenly I'm not. Sure. Just remove my strongest party member. I'm not angry about that at all. Yay. Yeah, I, whatever, uh, yeah. I would have recommended uh, farming whatever else you wanted to do with her beforehand because by the time she comes back, Gadwin's going to leave. She does come back briefly, but Gadwin will be gone and then you won't be able to use, make full use of fight, so. <sighs> Let's just get out of here now and we'll go to the mysterious vanishing hill. Yeah, this this part really pisses me off because it's just there's no reason for it. She really should have just been a permanent party member. It's especially annoying because she was pretty much the energy of the party and kind of like what happens in Grandia 3. If you've played that game, you kind of lose part of the oomph of the party. Her eventual replacement is simply not as fun a character. He's not bad, but he's just not nearly as fun or entertaining. But whatever. We go to the mysterious vanishing hill. Hey, come on, Luna. Yeah, we just want the fire charm. That's what I thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, I'll equip myself and be right back. Okay, we're actually okay on equipment. I, I do want to use the dragon killer because I want to get his swords up to 18. That's two levels. That's pretty much what I want to mainly focus on. That and I want to gain a couple levels for earth up to 8. Fire's good where it is. Uh, if you're at at least level 9, I wouldn't bother working on fire for Justin. Um, if you can get it to 10, like I have it, so much the better, but... You know, at least nine is good enough. There's going to be a much easier way to work on fire soon, so I'm not going to train it at all right now. But I do want to get just a little bit of earth and mostly swords. Let's see, Fina. Her whips are fine. I'd like to get her earth up to 22 if I can. Uh, but at least 21. At least 20, really. Uh, my goal is to finish earth for Fina by the end of this one. And 22 is all she needs for her last ability. And Gadwin, I'd just like to get his swords up to 30. Maybe 17, fire and earth, but really 16 and up is good, and 30 and up is good for his swords. So, you know, I'm pretty much just going to actually play this area without, you know, leveling too much. Now I need to find my map. 
There we go. This is a relatively short area, so... Which is good. We get that. That's some money there. Let's get the Seed of Life over here. There's a little path here. Probably take us a couple episodes to get through it, but... This is a really short area. Remember this spot for later. There's a little bad textured spot there. Well, that's because there's something underneath it. It's not hidden very well. There's only 13 chests here, so one of which is the story item. Tells you how short the area is. Alright, here we go. We got a couple of enemies. These are, I believe, Ni Nialmots? Yeah. They're just vanilla enemies. Nothing... Nothing threatening about them. And mad frogs, just a bit mill enemy with a fire weakness. The Nialmots are resistant to fire, lightning, and explosion. Nothing interesting about them. Just standard cancel attacks. Mad frogs, they also just have a standard cancel attack. And they're very weak to fire, weak to lightning and explosion, resistant to earth and forest. Nothing special about them, really at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a dragon cut just to get it out of the way. Uh, maybe I could get a digging off, actually. No, not today. Pretty much just going to use Tremor and attacks with Justin. But I figure I want to use a Dragon Cut just to get the sword experience for Gadwin. Wow, that actually didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. Well, whatever. I'm going to focus on digging first, and then I'll use Tremor. Tremor is... I think better at this point for Fina because we only have three party members for one. And uh, her earth is a much higher level. Unfortunately, Tremor's a level 2 spell, but it's totally fine. Don't even worry that enemies are resistant to Earth around here. It doesn't matter. Nothing's immune to Earth, I don't think. No. There is an enemy immune to fire and wind, but... That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and... No, the cats are running around. That's certainly a thing. Get some sword experience for Justin. Oh, wow, that didn't do... Oh, yes, it did. Remember, Justin has the Chain of Gems to help him work on his weapons. That'll help him out quite a bit. So, there you go. I shouldn't have any issues getting levels here. There's a save point right ahead, so... Some mon oh, this is the Manta Ray enemy. Uh, it's just called Manta Ray. They drop some launch fireworks, which I think it's a battle item. Bombs Away is actually pretty powerful, so I wouldn't mess around with it. Uh, but they're weak to magic, so you can deal with them pretty quickly. They're very weak to uh, wind, water, and freeze. Weak to fire, earth, lightning, forest, and explosion. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'd mess with them. I don't think I'd mess around too much with these idiots, because... They can actually deal some damage. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a nice little Tremor going. I don't know if Tremor's going to kill them. I'm going to use Diggin' because I want to get some Earth experience for Fina. We'll get to the save point and then we'll go through the rest of the area in the next episode. There's a lot of enemies around, but it's not too bad. Is that the last enemy here? No, there's still hermit crabs. Oh, he just learned boom. That's good. Must have gained a level for... Uh, unfortunately. See, here's bombs away. That's gonna hurt. Eh, it's not too bad. I'm pretty powerful, so that's, you know, 
If you're weaker than me, that could actually do some decent damage. Wow, really? I don't have, uh... Huh. Oh, Earth, protect us all. If you had Quake, uh, you could use it here. Uh, that's only going to hit one of them. That's unfortunate. It does... Especially not that great. Magic doesn't scale very well. Supposedly they're weak to it, but hell if I can see that. Please protect us. But if you really need to deal with them quickly, you could use uh, Hal Slash on them, I suppose. But it shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that deals a decent amount. If they all do that to you, that can hurt. If you can get an extra digging off, take advantage. So much the better, right? Yeah, I can probably get another level here. We'll get that. Go back to the map, although I believe the save point is just ahead. Alright. Let's not bother editing out because we're at the save point. If you could just walk straight to the end, this area would be really short, but they make you do a couple of side tracks here. Oh, by the way, I picked up uh, Lotus Cut, which is basically the fire version of Midair Cut. I don't know why it costs a little less than Ice Slash. Maybe it's a little weaker, but it's basically a fire version of it. I never, ever, ever use it, so... I might show it to you guys eventually, but... Not right now. Here goes. Ha! I don't think I've ever shown you guys uh, Gadwin's other attacks, have I? No, I should probably do that, huh? One thing he did pick up is uh, Meteor Strike, but somebody else will get that eventually. Should I show off Erupt Cut? I should, but let's not show it off right now. I want to get a tremor off. Erupt cut is pretty useless. I mean, I guess I can use it to get some experience, but and fly cut is just as generic uh, cancel attack. I've already showed you guys uh, Sue's attacks, but I guess I should show off all of uh, Sue's. Should I use fire whip? Nah. I'm going to use Diggin' just to get some experience Please again. Us. Basically, all I'm doing for Fina here is Earth. I really want to finish it by the end of Disc 1. Alright, let's erupt cut you. Here you go. Ha. Wow, really? That's it? It doesn't even have a cool effect? Here, I'll show you guys Lotus Cut. <laughs> I literally have never used it. Burn, baby, burn. Eh, that's pretty cool. Sure, whatever. We'll use Fire Whip just to use it. I love that odd hat. That's awesome. I use fly cut now. 
Just attack. Get some sword experience, because we can. Really good when you didn't level up your sword yet. I'd like you to finish off your stuff here. He's at 69 there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to gain any more levels in Gadwin than this. I, I'm just going to get his one sword. I could go higher, but I don't think that there's any point. Okay, let's just keep going now. I'll check everything at the save point. That's already the first part of the dungeon, guys. So we're doing pretty good here. Not much to it. Yeah, that's literally, they say that's halfway through through the area, which is pretty silly, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to save here, and next time we'll go through the rest of this area, and I guess go meet back up with Sue with the teleport orb and go to a Lent, maybe. All right, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.